Unmissable spots on a West Coast America road trip. 1,500 miles of wild coastline lies between the windswept sands of Washington State and the golden beaches of Southern California. It would take 30 hours to drive the full distance between the Canadian and Mexican borders, but with so many beautiful spots along the way, there's no reason ever to speed through the area so quickly. Think world-class cities, rugged beaches, ancient forests and quirky coastal towns, and you're on the way to being caught up in the spell that the USA's West Coast casts over its residents. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 unmissable spots on a West Coast America road trip. And just wait till you see what's at number one that we're going to be showing in this video. Something you would have never even thought of. So make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin though, you can help support our channel by becoming a member of this channel. Press the join button below. This will help us to bring you more awesome travel videos. Now let's cut to the chase. At number 10, San Diego. Nearing the end of your west coast of America road trip, it's time to hit the beach in San Diego, ready to relax in this Spanish-influenced city. The city itself is bustling, craft breweries are a big trend here, and the San Diego Zoo is a big attraction, but what everyone loves about this gorgeous place is the surf. Take to the water and finish your trip down the coast in style with surfing, sailing, diving and whale watching all on offer along the beautiful beaches of San Diego. Hang gliding is a great way to get a unique view of this corner of the USA as you soar over the pristine coastline with epic views of the coastal city below. At 9. Santa Monica Santa Monica is the beach haven of Los Angeles, where surfers and street performers mingle on the long promenade and Hollywood executives meet for lunches served by the wannabe actors that flock here. Ride the Ferris wheel at the Santa Monica Pier for spectacular views along the coast to Malibu before cycling along to Venice Beach, people watching as you go. You can while away many days here just chilling in the hipster atmosphere of LA's most famous beach. Don't forget to visit the strong men of Muscle Beach and the boutiques of 3rd Street Promenade. At 8. Monterey and Carmel by the Sea Carmel and Monterey might sit alongside each other in their snug corner of the Pacific coast, but they couldn't be more different. Carmel is a pretty seaside village full of small boutiques and expensive art galleries, while Monterey is a tourist town built on the working class fishing industry and large cannery that dominates the wharf. It's worth a visit to both. Shopping and beautiful architecture await in Carmel, while the world-class aquarium is a highlight of Monterey, as well as the whale-watching tours that take place just offshore. Just north is the tiny town of Moss Landing, where you can see kayak amongst the adorable sea otters that relax in the waters of Elkhorn Slough, while sea lions and pelicans fight for prime space on the riverbanks. At 7. Big Sur Continuing your West Coast America drive, Big Sur is the wild coastline south of Carmel. It's a desolate stretch of rugged beaches and hidden coves, often cloaked by thick fog that engulfs the shore on summer mornings. Many artists and writers have attempted to explain the allure of this magical place, but it's hard to tell those who haven't been. Let's just say that the empty beaches full of crashing surf and the winding roads that cling to the edge of America are enough to tempt you there, while the lure of this misty coastline will be sure to pull you back again and again. Next up at 6. San Francisco the steep hills and sweeping views of San Francisco and the Bay Area are not to be missed on your drive through California. There is so much to do here, you'll find yourself torn between staying another day to take in more of the buzzing city or continuing further south. Eat a sandwich from Ike's in Dolores Park overlooking the city before catching the tram from Union Square down to Fisherman's Wharf, where Gaudi shops and restaurants overlook the prison rock of Alcatraz, way out in the harbour. The Golden Gate Bridge dominates the skyline of San Francisco, so make sure you make the journey across. Whether you walk, cycle or drive, and enjoy the soft colours that the sunset throws onto the sky behind its scarlet structure. At 5. Redwood National Park, California Redwoods are the spiritual centre of California. These ancient trees dominate Northern California, where pretty groves of trees tower over the neighbouring forests. In Redwood National Park, the trees are so wide you can famously drive through the massive trunk of the chandelier tree before hiking through the cool glades that make up this gorgeous coastal park. It's hard not to be humbled by these giants. The tallest trees are well over 100 meters high, while their felled brothers that decay on the forest floor may predate the Roman Empire. At 4. It's Portland, Oregon 
Hipsters, foodies and eco-activists all gravitate towards Portland, the city where independent coffee shops sit alongside vegan restaurants and craft breweries serve up beers that are enjoyed all over the country. Portland is a city to wander through, have a quick drink at a light-strung rooftop bar or spend a few hours combing the shelves of a second-hand bookshop before grabbing a bite at Voodoo Donut. Life goes slowly here, so don't rush it and spend a couple of days exploring the liberal heart of Oregon. And now at three, Cannon Beach, the Goonies filming location. Famed for its appearance in the cult film The Goonies, Cannon Beach is just one example of the beautiful beaches that make up the coastline of Oregon. The town is filled with tiny art galleries and is a great place to stop for the night on your way down south. The rocky shore reveals scores of tidal pools full of scuttling crabs, as well as the chance to walk out to Haystack Rock, where orange starfish cling to outcrops and anemones dance in the clear water. At 2, La Push Beach, twilight filming location. The wild beauty of La Push might be a highlight in other states, but Washington basks in so much natural splendor that it's just one amongst an array of gorgeous beaches. La Push has some of the more secluded beaches in the area, especially Third Beach, accessible by a short hike from the road. It's also quietly famous for its role in the Twilight films, but its location in the Quillette Indian Reservation keeps its celebrity status to a minimum, meaning you can still visit this far-flung corner of the Pacific Northwest in relative peace. And finally, at number one, Seattle Harbor. Seattle is the natural starting place for any West Coast American fly drive, home to household names like Starbucks, Microsoft, and also Boeing. Seattle is the beating heart of the Pacific Northwest, take a turnaround Pike Place Market where the daily catch is sold at dawn. Visit the first ever branch of Starbucks, opposite the market, then climb the Space Needle for killer views over the majestic Mount Rainier that dominates the skyline. Take a cruise around the harbour and swat up on some local facts, then catch a Seahawks game before finishing your day at an indie music night while sampling craft beers from the various breweries dotted around the city. And there you have the top 10 unmissable spots on a West Coast America road trip. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.